There's a heavy load upon my shoulders now For a trip that is uncertain but somehow Every road in life is nothing more today Than a step behind what it was yesterday So I stay a man and swallow up my pride And sometimes I guess I go just for the ride Cause I know that somewhere over the next hill There's a waiting world of changes and goodwill Oh, 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 get behind the wheel of life, take your chances on the road, take the road of no return, or when midnight cordage turns out your brother with his load. There's an echo of a dream here in my mind. Of a freedom that we're not allowed to find Every road in life is nothing but the same Every man in every state will have their claim Well, I'm not about to sit here idly by While some politician carries out his life I am one like any other and I say Everyone has every right to choose his way. Oh, 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 oh. Get behind the wheel of life. Take your chances on the road. Take the road of no return. Or when midnight court adjourns, help your brother with his load. Buenos días. Buenas noches. This will be a most interesting day, Olivia. Sí. away from the ranch. For a time, Jesus, for a time. His greed keeps us safe and my money keeps him fat. But even the district captain's sword is not sharp enough to cut off the noses of the Federalis. Now, say nothing. I will handle the review. Come on, now, 
Dig deep. Dig deep. A nostro. Don't forget. Paint over the car. Si, jefe. Hurry up, hurry up. I think so. We should look after this planet very well. Very well indeed. Were we going to pick him up? You said that we would look after him. Now, vamos. A rancho. Si, mi viejo. Young and he's old. I'm strong. He's weak. You roach. That's your bath for the month. Lazaro. Go to the barn. You'll be 
more comfortable there. Are you all right? Yes. Pedro, I told you not to come in the daylight. Now, what do you want? Dinero. But you got your chef on the last job. I mean, from this job. This job? There is no job. There won't be another job for a week. And the jeep? But that's no job. Someone left it abandoned me, I'll go to dispose of it. That's not the same as a job. It is now. I need more money. Protection is my business, your protection. The cost of living goes up, and I have many mouths to feed. Oh, sure, your family. I had almost forgotten about your family. Oh, those fine, healthy children. We do want them to stay healthy. I must get back home now. Remember now. Only at night. again, we're in the penthouse offices of the Russell Company. Mr. Larry Benjamin, Chief Executive Officer, has given the station an exclusive interview in order to clear up the mystery surrounding the much-publicized missile launch. Mr. Benjamin, you say that the Russell Company has absolutely no comment on the reports of a secret missile having been launched from the Russell test site? That's right, we have no comments. Except to say, as one of the nation's leading suppliers to the aerospace industry, we are restricted in what we can reveal. But, Mr. Benjamin, more than a hundred people have reported seeing a launching which must have occurred some 15 or 20 miles inside the Russell Ranch. People see flying saucers, too. I have no further comment. Thank you, Mr. Benjamin. While the Dow Jones Industrials were off three points for the second day in a row, one company is not too affected by the market. It's the giant corporation belonging to billionaire Leslie Russell. Russell the Recluse, many call him. But no matter what nickname he has, he's always in the news. This time, however, the Russell News deals with reported radar sightings of a rocket launch and subsequent reports of a secret satellite. The Russell company has been known to be planning a giant private communications network to rival the three major networks. If this is the case, the latest rumor just adds fuel to the fire. You might say, to the moon fire, as the project is allegedly called. This moon fire project has been under wraps for many months. As usual, attempts by the news media to reach Leslie Russell are in vain. But Larry Benjamin, Russell's top operations man, has indicated there might be a story later on. However, he's given a terse no comment at this time. In London, Parliament voted 20 million... Long distance for Ira Morris on line two. Mr. Morris, long distance on line two, please. Long distance call for Mr. Morris. Mr. Ira Morris, line two, please. All communication with the various media must be channeled through me. All statements concerning any activities of the Russell organization will be issued by my division and by me personally. If the um, pilot contacts any of our plants in Florida, Texas, California, or Nevada, the switchboard has instructions to plug us in direct. Nothing's wrong. Nothing ever goes wrong with your electronics division, does it, Larry?
Hello. You speak English? Oh, si, senor. Poquito. Good. Where is the ranch? The ranch. Rancho. Look, I need help. I, uh, uh, t telephone. Car. Automobile. Huh? Don't you speak any English at all? Where is the ranch? Oh, yes, sir. But look, my name is no Pancho. My name is Jesus. Por allá, señor. In the Stone Age. Progress. Thank you. Thank you very much, friend. De friend. nada, mi amigo, de nada. Anda, di la fuente. That's one of the top country songs of all time, El Paso, by the one and only Marty Robbins. Look, Sam, I'd like to steer you right to a load, but I can't handle the brokerage end anymore. We have a man who really knows his business. Oh, that's great, Ira. And with that new plant Russell's putting in, there will probably be ten trailer loads moving out of Tucson. Look, Sam, you ought to move down here. Alaska's okay for the Eskimos, but... You should be in Nogales in an hour and a half. Don't worry. Hello, Mr. Morris. Tom, I'd like you to meet an old CB buddy of mine. Sam Blue. Get him fixed up with a good load. What kind of rig you got? Hey, this man you don't question. He can rebuild a triplex transmission at midnight. In January. In Alaska while adjusting the clutch with his feet. And all the while in his sleep. You want to be my agent? The trick is not to have to rebuild that transmission, isn't it? Well, it happens. Look, Ira, you don't have to sell me. You know what these guys can do. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, fill out one of these spec sheets for our files. I'll have Barry go out and take a picture. Oh, I gotta go. How about supper, Sam? Fine. To take a what? A picture. We have to keep a complete file on every trucker we load.
we can adjust the temperature. Look, I get the picture. I get the picture. But I've been driving for 24 years and three months. And I've got some checks of my own. Let me show you. Yeah. $2,312.58 in bad checks. All from truck brokers. And that's just last year. Well, things are changing. It's getting harder and harder for these con artists on the road to hang paper. Now, my operation is 3X in the blue book. My operation on the road carries a 4X rating. We ought to get along. Why don't you watch out, you, you midnight cowboy? I'm gonna knock your kneecaps off, man. Richie! How are you, baby? Long time no see, Robert. Where you been hiding? I've been hiding, man. Just doing my thing. I'm down a concrete path. I thought maybe, maybe Mr. Robert Morgan of Miami might got here and settle down. Yeah, so I can, uh... Be a happily married man like you, huh? Clara! Well, well, how's the furniture business, Robert? Well, I'm not hauling furniture. I haven't sold my freight box yet. But you can bet what I do, I'm going back to those pads and dollars. You used to be a movie man a while back, didn't you? Yeah, and I was... I was dumb enough to get out of that business, but at the same time, you were smart enough to open up this truck stop. <laughs> yeah, four years. That's the best truck in there is. Your old buddy Sam Blue doesn't seem to think so. Sam Blue? Is he still hauling garbage? <laughs> you know Sam, a produce man through and through. Hey, I just remembered. Sam's here. We're having supper together. Why don't you join us? He's here, huh? Well, I'd like to, Ira, but I'm headed for Sheetsville. Why don't you just tell him I'm around? Okay, Robert, I'll do that. And you tell him my trailer's light, but my eyes are heavy. You don't have to wake me till I'm ready to split. Right. More coffee? No, thank you. So, my plane was destroyed. Your plane? Yes, I was on my way to Guatemala. Must have run out of fuel. Stupid of me. There's nothing left. Except you, of course. I'm very tired. Is there a bed? Oh, beds! <laughs> we have more than a hundred beds here, and our kitchen can feed an army. Well, one bed will be enough. Oh, why so many? Who comes here? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. Oh, by the way, they are a hundred miles from the nearest paved road. And that little dirt road that leads to the ranch, that is 40 miles long belongs to me. little insurance, my friend. Leave time. Now, wait a minute. I've got something to tell you. I'm sure you have. Hello. Hey, then. There, Ben. I am listening. You seem to know a lot about the operation of the Russell Aircraft Company. I hope what you have told me is true. You just contact Benjamin. Oh, have no fear. Now, enjoy my hospitality. You are free to walk around. There's just one other thing. If you don't get me out of here in four days, you might as well forget it. Oh. Right after I landed, I set the timer for self-destruction. 
The bomb has a two-phase magnesium charge. After it explodes, the magnesium will burn for a solid two minutes. Joe? Well, any pilot on that uh, Mexico City, Los Angeles run would see the light from that magnesium for from two to three hundred miles. There's six flights a night on that route. It would just be a matter of time. Before what? Before the authorities start investigating. Just a minute, please. Yes, who is it? He won't give his name. He'd rather talk to Mr. Russell. He says it's regarding Mr. Hawkins. Well, of course I want to speak to him. Yes? Yes, what is it you want? I'm Mr. Russell's chief executive... Do not waste time talking. Just do as I say. You deliver your picture, then we can talk. Follow my instructions exactly. million dollars. Huh. Do you really care? Listen carefully. Don't make any mistakes. I'm sure that Mr. Russell will appreciate your efficiency. Now, I want, first of all, you should go to your bank. Now look, Frank, your job is security. To make sure those armored trucks aren't followed. But suppose this character just drives off with the money after it's loaded on the truck. That's why we send the farmer. The farmer? How much do we tell the truck driver? He'll know nothing until they arrive at wherever the rendezvous takes place. All he knows is top priority aircraft parts. But won't he be suspicious if he doesn't even know where he's headed? He's a truck driver. Truck drivers don't ask questions. They're paid to steer, load, unload, and keep their mouths shut. Now, you find me the dumbest looking truck driver you can, and we're in business. Pat? Larry, 
I think we ought to find the smartest truck driver. This isn't going to be an ordinary trip, you know. He's right, Larry. We can't take a chance. Okay, okay. Smart or dumb, I don't care. Just get one. Get him quickly. Brief him. Have him ready. Now, let's move. Well, what about the farmer? You don't ever worry about the farmer. He's been briefed. Completely. Okay, Fine Levin, hit the deck. What'd you do last night? Set a record? You want to be a moving man, so move! Peace, brother. Hey! This is me, Sam Blue. You need a job? All I need is a few kind words. Does 75 cents a mile sound kind enough? On the level? Yeah. If you're interested, shave close. I'll fill you in over coffee. If not... Got any razor blades? No, well, Frank. Everything's set. We made arrangements with the produce trucker. Good. When will he be able to load? Correction, they... What? His name is Blue. Sam Blue. He says he can't guarantee delivery on a three-day trip unless there are two trucks. And if he doesn't know where he's headed, well, he'll need that extra protection. Tell him it's okay. Now all we have to do is find out where our money's going. Oh, I see. Two trucks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very well. Now. Let me have the name of your truck driver. I will deal with him directly. And remember, no tricks. Or your pilot will be shipped to you in two suitcases. You're gonna age me fast, Uncle Sam. You aged me one night in Montana, remember? Come on, we've been all over that. By the time I got your fuel pump fixed, the highway patrol had shut down all the highways. Cars, trucks, trains, planes. Everything was stranded under a beautiful blanket of snow. Yeah, my blank was around you and that young girl you found stranded. I'm sure that had nothing to do with you not returning. Oh, no. Beacons driver Eldon Clawson to the telephone, please. Beacons driver Eldon Clawson to the phone, please. Hey, Judy, how about some coffee? Make it too, will you? You know her name already. Well, I'll just keep my eyes open. If she didn't have a tie, you'd still know her name. Well, it pays to keep alert, you know. On this trip, it will. I don't know where we're going, what we bring back. So now what? Wait. For what? You're a trucker and you're asking me? The same thing that every trucker spends half his life doing. Waiting for orders to roll. Well, there's a lot of ways to kill time in a truck stop. Long distance call for Sam Blue. Yes, yes. Look, oh, Kathleen, cut it out. Your old man will be back on his feet in no time. Listen, I'll call you again before I get there, okay? Hey, that's me. Tell him to send it in here, will you? Uh, this is from Sam Blue. My sister's husband just tangled with the train at an unguarded railroad crossing. Further instructions are in my tractor. We'll use our Morse as a contact so I can plan to meet you wherever you are. Regards, Sam. Hey, I'm just beginning. Keep it hot. I'll be back in a few days.
Anybody here? Anybody here? Friend or foe? I hope you're a friend. Follow me. Morgan. And you? Larry Benjamin, chief executive officer of the Russell Company. Sam Blue told me about you. A little younger than I thought you were. I'm 28. What's that got to do with it? Just wondering whether you could handle the job. Well, I could handle it a little better if I knew what was happening. But if you want something, Hall, Morgan's your man. Especially with all this money involved. 75 cents a mile. A lot of lettuce. Now, you want to know whether I can handle a job? I've been a trucker for 10 years. Five is a furniture man and five is a freight hauler. If it stacks or hangs, I can handle it. I believe you can. Just in case. Well, you've met our insurance policy. Yeah. The talkative cat sums up his whole life history in two words. <laughs> He'll loosen up if he likes you, but he's not paid to like you. Looks like he was once paid to be a truck driver. Yeah, he's done that, among other things. Pretty good at most everything he does. What he does for the next three or four days is very important to the Russell organization. Well, I figure that. Uh, what are you smuggling? You don't smuggle anything. The Russell Company is a legitimate company. What we need is to have some very valuable aircraft parts hauled someplace in utmost secrecy. And they must arrive on time, no matter what. I treat all my shippers the same. The farmer here can help make your job a little easier. Maybe I can give you a hand, too. Hey, you don't have to do that. I know. It's all right. Just don't tell anybody, you might spoil my image. Why don't you, uh, just have them shipped in one of your company planes? Because we don't know where they're going. You see, the buyer is changing the route and keeping the affair top secret in order to avoid a possible theft. Even we don't know where you're going. Well, that's great. How do I find out? You keep in touch with my office, and you may be... Receiving further instructions from someone with a German accent. Jawohl. It's no time to get cute. Look, the less you know about it, the better off you are. You just stay in touch. What about my old buddy Sam Blue? This is his production. I just inherited the starry role. Yeah, maybe you deserve it. Well, he's making me sweat. about your buddy. I'll make sure he rejoins you no matter where you are. Well, he'll make sure of that. I know Sam. He'll wish he hadn't missed this trip. Especially this part. Okay. Farmer will take care of all the expenses. Get back to that truck stop. 
It's a little surprise waiting for you. And uh, good luck. Lazaro, if you only brush your teeth, take a bath, change your clothes. Maybe, maybe you'll find a woman of your own. All I care about now is we get this pilot. The pilot? The pilot? I thought you forgot about the pilot. Never! He's gonna make us really stupid. Let's go. Vamos, vamos. See, I told you to be here waiting for us. Nice little toy. Today. So? So you can't hide this ranch. They come from the airport for hunters. They go after the mountain lion, not a pilot. Andale, Taru! Ay, hombre, espérate que trape. No, vamos, carajo. No, 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 no,
Been board waiting? Yeah. Little. Okay, let's go. about to make me mad. Gee, man, this thing look like it's brand new. You mean to tell me you got this many miles on it? Over 200,000. Just getting broken in good. Nice, man, nice. You got some rig here. Wrong. You got some rig here. You're driving it, remember? Say, what's this? Shortwave radio? Yeah, I guess you haven't been on the road for a while. A lot of the guys have them now, you know, in case you get lonely or we run across an accident. 
I'll make sure I call you when I get a little lonely. You seem pretty certain we'll follow your instructions. How do you know we haven't alerted the Highway Patrol and the FBI? Don't play any games, Mr. Benjamin. You have more to lose than I do if you notify the authorities. Now I'll call you again in three hours. Clowns at the port pull out their microscopes and find so much as a fly hanging on this air hose, then they'll slap a fine on us for breeding uh, insect life without an ICC permit. Speaking of bugs. Trying to get it all ship shaped before you get to the port, eh? Yeah, we uh, keep these things a lot cleaner than most people keep their clothes. Besides, I'm not breaking any law, and you're not a cop in the first place. That's right, I'm not a cop. I'm better than a cop. Are you sure about that? Listen, boy. Logs and license is a responsibility of the Corporation Commission. You impressed me a whole bunch. We're legal. We ought to be. I get stopped and searched so much, I gotta take two showers a day to get your fingerprints off of me. You're using our highways. And who pays for them? I paid more than 4,000 bucks last year in highway taxes. Smile, buddy. Next year, you'll pay more. What about him? The beer belly bureaucracy. Highway robbery. In a five o'clock shadow. Better go easy about that five o'clock shadow. Could have been worse. It could have been a close shave. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I get so sick and tired of being searched illegally and being called names by a bunch of pigs that sweat beer and being questioned about my rights. But you're not a trucker. You wouldn't understand what I'm talking about, would you? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Say, officer, is this the right road to El Paso? Yes, sir. Just follow the signs all the way to where it rejoins with the interstate. You'll have smooth sailing all the way into El Paso. Thanks. Thanks a lot, officer. We're just here to be helpful, sir. If I wasn't so close to quitting time, I'd uh, check your permits here and now. But this is your lucky day. I'm going to let you go. But they'll catch anything at the port. You mean in the truck, don't you? Why in the hell can't you tell me? Look like I told you before, I don't dig all this mumbo jumbo jazz. Are you a real truck driver? Yeah, and I beat it. I'm on the phone. Look, this stop on the phone every 100 miles puts a cramp in my style. Stick them up, mister. Why? Look, just tell me where I'm going. Why do you want to hold me up? 
You're a truck driver, right? Huh? I see. Truck drivers make a lot of money, don't they? Sure there is. Well? Not this trip, cowboy. El Paso Truck Terminal. You're not a real truck driver. Now, what makes you say that? Now, some bandit's trying to hold me up. Well, he looks like Jesse James. Now, what makes you say that? No, I'm talking to some kid, that's all. You're not fat enough to be a truck driver. El Paso, Texas, about two hours. Well, if you put it on the bulletin board, it'll be there, right? Right. Also, talk terminal.
any cattle driver headed to Colorado City, please report to the cashier. Well, that's right, Ira. Now, when Sam gets a hold of you, just give him Mr. Benjamin's number. Now, they'll take care of everything. Well, I, I can't tell you where. As a matter of fact, I'm waiting for a call from some cat right now. All right, Robert. But just watch out for those senoritas over in Juarez. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, don't you sweat it, Ira. With my luck, the last place I'll be heading is Mexico. Okay. Right. kilometers south of Chihuahua, there is a cafe. Exactly seven kilometers. Cafe de Carmen. The proprietor there will have a map for you. It is complete and accurate. Well, that'll be a change. I'm getting kind of tired of talking to you. Good to hear from you. How's your brother-in-law? Oh, no. Some luck. If you want to catch up with your pal Morgan, you'll have to contact uh, Mr. Benjamin at uh, Russell Aircraft here in Tucson. Benjamin, that's right. Come along. How's that? Make sure you get to Juarez without unloading. Forget about that. Pack your bags now, everybody. This is a trick? A trick of Fuentes? No, no. The Federalis. More than a hundred troops are coming. They're searching every place. Every place for a television man who's missing near here. A Norte Americano. No one can hide. We've got nothing to hide. We have nothing to fear. You don't seem to understand what my brother has said. One hundred men. They will find the man, the chief. What man? You woman! Do you have no eyes? It is just time. Nobody, nobody can hide from the Federales. My sister's right. I cannot be found here. 
Pack quickly and go. What about Fuentes and the rest of the men? They're coming here soon. I still think it's a trick. Besides, since when do we take orders from a woman and a brother? We wait right here. The Federales will come with guns, not shovels. We'll run away. They'll suspect something. We stay, we drink or tequila, we go away happy. And the pilot? Huh? Vente conmigo. Leslie Russell's headquarters in Tucson about rumors of a one-man satellite that was launched some two days ago. The pilot, Paul Hawkins, has not reported to headquarters. Russell's chief executive officer, Larry Benjamin, has refused further comment. Hey, Farmer, do you read me? You lonely again? How many pesos for a dollar? About 10 or 12, isn't it? Ah, that's pretty close. How many boxes of lettuce do we have on this trailer? Is this the $64,000 question? Well, you're getting warm. How many boxes of lettuce do we have on this trailer? 550, just about. Try 548. If you say so. Two of those boxes have something in them besides lettuce. Boy, have I been stupid. If you say so. Well, don't break down. Because if you do, you'll find me in Tahiti. That's right. I would find you, no matter where you were. Oh, don't sweat it, man. When we top this next hill, the only place you'll find me is in overdrive. Now you, cooking. This is no picnic. I don't want to work the cattle ranch. I just want to make sure some steaks around when I retire. How do you like your steak cooked? Oh no, Tucson, Arizona. I see. I see. Hey, farmer, how do you say collect in Spanish? Collect go. 
Hey, man, don't drink that water. They plan to use it to irrigate chili peppers. Wrong. They already did. Hello. Mr. Benjamin. I can hardly hear you. Yeah? Okay. Farmer phone. Yeah. Okay. Blind wetback, what's Mexican for gratuitous? Go follow. You read me. I read you. What's up? Me and this beautiful engine are having a big love affair, man. We're really rolling. So what? So I'll see you in Durango. Right on. Of course I'll come back. Now, is everything in control? Pedro came to warn us. Three years we live here in safety. And you, you ruin a fortress with one bullet. Jefe, the pilot, maybe someone else in the parachute. That is our pilot. He's safe in the desert. In the desert? You're supposed to be here, here! Now what have you done with Silencio? Jefe, he will come back when the money come. If the money no come, the pilot, he no come. I see. Very well. We wait for the talk with the money. That's a very good idea. Jefe, we will all wait here. What road? Which way do these trucks come from? From the south, from Mazatlan. See? The other way around, no? It is the only paved road. You know yourself, from the north, it is only sheep roads and riverbeds. Have some tequila. No, no, I'm tired. Now come, Olivia, we go to bed. The talks will be here in the morning. And the Federalis? We send them into the mountains. I am still not suspected. Unless... her brother says something. He will say nothing. For two cups of gold, Pedro will sell his wife. For one, he sells his sister. Come on, Olivia. I'll buy her. <laughs> Salud. Salud. <laughs> Jefe. <laughs> Paris is much closer to Mazatlan than you think.
place, all right. That plane Sam took from Boston transferred passengers to Houston. So it's about two hours late. We might as well get some sack time. You catch some. I'll stay out here. Because you never can tell when one of them hungry rabbits might get a sniff of that lettuce. Okay, but wake me up when that glory-grabbing Eskimo gets here. You know, I should hit him for a raise. I do all the work. He gets all the money. No wonder they call him Uncle Sam. Wake up, let's go. Okay, sleeping beauty, wake up. Let's go. Oh, man, couldn't you give me a couple more minutes? I was just walking to Elizabeth Taylor's bedroom. Yeah, was she there? No. <sighs> Sam get here yet? Came and went. Came and went? You heard right. He said he was sorry about you doing this thing alone. But he knew you could handle it. Well, that's nice of him. What else did he say? Nothing much. Kind of grim. I guess he shook up over his sister's husband getting cut up on that railroad crossing the other day. Bad? No more legs. Thanks, God. I think he just want to drive by himself for a while. I don't think it'll be too cool to mention it when we catch him. Gotcha. Thanks for filling me in. They made better time than I thought they would. Come in, Sam Blue. Come in, Sam Blue. Do you read me? Forget it. You catch it. You're right. This enchilada freeway doesn't have any exits.
think he owns the road. Maybe he does. On my side. Very stupid of me. Uh, you can say that again. Look, mister, I'll yank you out of here. You get pretty warm sitting here all day. I would certainly appreciate that. If you yank him out of there, you'll rip his gas tank out. Why don't you use the lift? Gotcha. Good idea. Can you turn me around? I want to go the other way. What? Can you turn me around? I want to go the other way. At your service. Oh, then you know, my friend. Appreciate that. How much do I owe you? How far is it to Matsalan? About 200 kilometers.
Well, well, a flat tire no less. Eskimo gets harpooned in the desert. Let the younger generation give you a hand. Yeah. I've been reminded about how young I used to be enough times for one night. Now I'm looking forward to growing older. That makes two hours. More. More than two. Yes. More than the two of you. But if that's of you, more than the One moment. Give me much over there. How would you like to lose this hand, amigo? El dinero, el dinero. I would like very much for you to show me the money, senores. I'm not greedy like Fuentes. So, you can unload it slowly. Take your time. Sorry, I can't do that. These guys don't look like port of entry inspectors. They might as well be. Go ahead, take a look at your money. Wait, I'll help you. I figured the best way to deliver our load was in one lump sum. So I froze it solid. Lechugas me lleve el diablo. No use. It'll take you half a day to pry them loose. And by that time, the army's gonna find this road very interesting. No more trouble. All I want is the money. Well, I think the ice will melt faster when we get the pilot. Muy bien. Vamos a rancho. Follow us. Have much time. Let's go. The man stays here with me. We'll take the tractor. Wake up, I was home. We get out of here all right. I'll see to it that Russell gives you men a healthy bonus. Man, just getting out of here will be bonus enough. 
Well, in one hour, four years' work and $50 million in research is going to blow sky high. Barbara, give me a hand, man.
kid's okay. I'll meet you in two hours. That truck stop you keep raving about. The stakes are on me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's none other than Mr. Mysterious himself. Leslie Russell. Mr. Russell, would you care to comment on your experiences during the space journey? I have nothing to say now. There will be a press conference later on. Would you at least tell no, us a little bit? No, nothing at all. Nothing. 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 <laughs> <laughs> in a 
echo of a dream here in my mind Of a freedom that we're not allowed to find Every road in life is nothing but the same Every man in every state will have their claim Well, I'm not about to sit here idly by While some politician carries out his life I am one like any other and I say Everyone has every right to choose his way Oh, 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 oh. Get behind the wheel of life Take your chances on the road Take the road of no return Or when midnight court adjourns Help your brother who 